Welcome back to Sister Circle Live, a pioneer in the hip-hop game. She's graced classic tracks like Queen Latifah's Ooh, Ladies First, Ladies and first. unleashed chart-topping solo hits like Money in the Middle, Where she at? and Full Term Love. Now also a seasoned radio personality, she continues to hit stages nationwide and share her views on hip-hop music all around the world. Please welcome my good friend and martini partner, <laughs> Molly Love! <laughs> Honey. I am so glad you're here. I'm glad to. Yes. I'm glad you guys have me on. This is a nice set. It's cute, Thank right? You. Thank you. We got you. a little piece of carpet and a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Okay, so Moni. Yes. First of all, we love you, and we're. I'm so excited mm. you're down to this one. But the Essence Fest was so lit. Did you hear? Yeah. Oh no, my I gosh. I heard about. I'm so sad. I didn't get Can to go. Can I please tell you? First tell of us all, what happened. All right. First of all, it needs to be <laughs> understood. I mean, I know I'm going into no, it already. Good, good, good. It needs to be clearly understood that no matter how many years transpired mm -hmm. since all these girls mm -hmm. were originally first out, first songs, mm -hmm. first touring, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. When one of us puts the bat signal out, mm. I'm telling you, Latifah, she put Ooh. it out there, we need to form Voltron. Yes. For essence. And that's exactly what happened. And it's like, it's so funny because it never happens through like managers and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's like Latifah puts it out there like all mutual inside people that we all came up in the game together. Call such and such, get Moni, get um, yeah. Salt and Pepper, get like, get the da da That's the best one. Yeah, wow. and when it happens like that, and it's like, we need to form Voltron, we form Voltron. Mm. 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 And they had a bar in our backstage area. I'll say that's when, that's when it, re it really turned up then. It was off the chain. I'm that, telling you. Okay, that was problems. <laughs> 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 but it was, but it was good problems. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Fellowship I mean, and oh, girl, Mary J. Blige's restroom was right there. It was like mm. a, it was like a courtyard of sisterly love. Yes, wow. that's what I'm talking yes. about. Yes, that's Mary J. Blige's room was there. Uh, um, Brandy and I shared mm -hmm. a room here. Salt and Pepper was here. Remy Ma mm. um, was right here. You wow. know, it was Latifah was right there. Missy was right there. It was like all everybody's rooms. So it was the stage presence. Yeah. We were all watching each other's shows. Because we're all still each yes. other's biggest fans. fans. Yes. Yes. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, when we got back into the bar area and they made dirty martinis and they oh. had the big, no, they had the big fat olives martinis. too, not oh. the stupid with the, little with the blue cheese? ones. Yeah, girl. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> okay, let me relax. Okay. okay. Well, we love a good martini here too, so that's what we're talking about. <laughs> but listen, I don't know if people know, they know when you speak that, oh my gosh, she's, she's not from the States. You're right. from London. Yeah. So tell me a little bit, how has the hip hop culture changed in London from what it was then when you initially started right. to now. That's good. Wow, mm -hmm. well, honestly, um, I left England w uh, when I was about 17. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, that was about 88. Um, everybody can do the, do the math now. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, about, about 78, uh, excuse me, about 88 I left. Uh, I was about 17 at the time. And um, I pretty much had established a career for myself in England already. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It was this new, blooming art form music culture, and it was coming from the States, uh -huh. and record labels in England kind of wanted a piece of it. So when they saw it developing its own thread in, in England yeah. as what was going on in the United States, the record label started snapping up as much mm -hmm. talent as they could. Mm -hmm. I was one of those people that got snapped up by a label, uh -huh. originally a rock label that mm -hmm. knew nothing about. Really? Yeah, wow. but they wanted a piece of what was happening because they saw it happening. You know? So, so what, what was the intention behind going from music into radio? Honestly, it was at a time where radio itself had decided it wasn't going to discriminate against hip-hop no more. Because mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember when you mm -hmm. guys were, were kids, you know, Selena, when you wanted to listen to some hip-hop, it was on a Friday night or a Saturday yeah, night. Like, it, was it wasn't hard. happening. Mm -hmm. It was like two hours on a Friday night, two hours on a Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Hip-hop wasn't getting played on daytime radio wow. anywhere in any state. Yeah. And so then it was at a time where uh, a gentleman decided he wanted to flip a top 40 radio station in New York and make it hip-hop. Hop radio mm -hmm. all day long, 
you know, hip hop and R and B, and that was the start and the original of the flagship Hot 97. Mm. Well, and Hot during 97. that, and the, it was that time where that he he not only flipped the station, he wanted authentic personnel. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to know more about this when we come back. We yes. have Money Love with us. Stick with us. When we come back, we're gonna learn all about more about and martinis <laughs> and more martinis <laughs> and what goes in. <laughs> We are back with hip hop legend and seasoned radio personality, Moni Love. Yes. Moni ooh, Love. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Listen, Moni, um, <clears throat> we evolved. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, and, and for me, I'm just really happy to see that something that was originally not even deemed to be here very long. Wow. You know, they didn't, we had that to fight true. to get yeah. hip hop accepted as a real music genre. Mm -hmm. You know, and for it to be still here leading the way, um, leading the way in, in, in major million dollar marketing deals mm -hmm. and things of this nature is just really pleasing to yeah. see. Mm -hmm. My only, I think, pet peeve okay. Okay. Would, would be is that with the ex with the viral explosion mm. and, and and social networking mm -hmm. social media, media so, uh -huh. all of that it seems like there's you don't is less that you really have to do oh, yeah. selena says that all the time yeah, yeah. selena says you know you don't yeah. actually have to do much mm -hmm. but what's being done which is also very cool is uh black music honors mm. oh absolutely and you will be down yes. to it yes doing a tribute yes. with the great houdini what wow. is that going to be like for you i mean that's like the core of hip-hop in my opinion that's that's like a core moment in hip-hop first of all it's insane yes it is <laughs> it's insane that I'm actually taking part in something that's honoring Houdini, mm. yes. who I'm a fan. Yes. yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. before I had any records out, before anybody knew who I was, mm -hmm. Houdini's one of the groups that I listened to, so this is actually nuts for me. Oh, my wow. goodness. Like, I'm it's really trying to keep my composure. And I cannot wait, because I want to go. So, we right. love having you down to the yes. server room. We love you, but listen, if you guys want to purchase tickets to the 2018 Black Music Honors and get updates on when you can catch it on your TV screen, visit blackmusichonors.com. And the conversations continue on sistercircletv.com on all social media platforms. Booyah. Oh, man. I want to go. That's going to be too it's fun. It's going to be so much fun. I've done it once, and this will be my second time doing it, but the first time I had given Big Daddy Kane his award. Is it going to be out here?